going on guys Liu Kang video on deck this one might actually be 10 minutes I know I clickbait him and say that they're 10 minutes guys but uh Liu Kang is fucking simple he's like the simplest character and most effect effective character in the game like if you want a character that like you don't gotta put a whole lot of time into to like do what he does and be good with him that's probably Liu Kang like, uh, why would you pick this character with Liu Kang? Because you just want to get in and play Mortal Kombat right now. That's kind of what this character is built for. Is you just get in there. Like, he's not very intricate. He doesn't have a whole lot of, like, very difficult things that he tries to do. He's just, like, he has, like, three strings that are really good. And then you just do them. And then add a special move. And that's it. So, like, his character archetype, I actually have him listed down as flexibility. He's a flexibility character. He's not really good at all ranges. He's only really good at two. But he can quickly move in between those two that he doesn't ever have to worry about the other ranges. So, what that means is, like, Liu Kang, from here, kind of useless, right? None of his buttons really reach, right? But up here, godlike, right? When he's inside, he's fucking nasty. And back here, right, he's got some zoning. So, like, you can kind of bounce between rushdown and zoning, and that's what he is. He's a tale of two extremes. He rushes you down or he zones you. And if he's not doing one of those things, he's looking to transition from either or. And that's his archetype, right? His archetype is he plays two archetypes and bounces between the two, all right? So, for his best build, for beginners, we went with this. Low Fireball, Kasari Slam, Dragonfire. But really, at the end of the day, if you're trying to build a competent Liu Kang, you really have to have this. Low Fireball, and then maybe this. This one's kind of debatable, um, but Low Fireball you have to have. If you're going to build Liu Kang, you grab Low Fireball and then pick and choose whatever you want. But this is the build that we're seeing from most people, and I find that it's simple enough to work for a beginner. So that's why we're using it. Um, so what we have equipped is we got Low Fireball, right? It's a low. It complements his High Fireball. So... As you're throwing this, they're going to start ducking, right? You throw that. It has an amplify, right? And this thing is really good to catch people trying to jump. So as you're doing this, right, you're zoning, you're being an asshole, and they're getting tired of that. They start ducking, right? So you start throwing that. They start jumping. So then you do that, and the second hit of the amplify will oftentimes try to catch them trying to jump over the low one. They have to time the jump pretty pretty precisely um not you can't really delay it but it comes out like slow enough to mess up your timing on jumping over the low fireball um the other move we have equipped is kasari slam this is command grab right uh you have an amplify to it hold on right ah. there's an amplify you could change the direction right so when you do the amplify you can throw them forward or you can do it backwards. So you can pick where you want to go. What's important about this move is uh, the ticks. So he's got a tick off back one. Oh. Ah, there it is, right? Anyways, there's a hitbox issue. Trust me, it works. Let me try, let me see if it'll work if he's ducking. Maybe he's got a duck. Oh, I don't have it on stance hold. That's why. Because he's letting go a block. He's got a stance hold. If they stance hold, you get the command grab. Boom, off a of back one. And then he's got it off a of down one. And I think he's got it off a of down three. Oh, hold on. Ah. Yeah, down three. Did he get it off a of down four? I don't think he gets it off a of down four. No, he doesn't get it off a of down four. But he got three tick throws. So it makes his strike throw game really, really good. Um, he can also combo it off of anything that launches. Um, so you can always throw it in there after a one, two, three, right? Catch him, keep your positioning. Um, and then the command grab, it does, uh, catch their armor. So oftentimes we do one, two, three, they'll break away. So you can do one, two, three, command grab, catch their breakaway, keep your positioning, guarantee your damage. Obviously you can get it off of some of his launchers, um, to catch them breaking away. And then the other move we have equipped is the buff, right? And he just does this. Uh, what it does, it makes all of his moves hit harder, right? So we activate. Let's just do a 1, 2, 3, right? 93 damage. We do the buff. 1, 2, 3, 112 damage. It also makes his fireballs hit harder significantly. 
But what people have been using this for, so Liu Kang has like two stances. He has a Shaolin stance, l- nunchuck stance. They're equipable, equipable stances, and people use those to break up the rhythm in their pressure, right? So they'll do something like this, right? And then they'll go into stance. But this, it's so fast that people are throwing it out in their strings, right? Because you do one, two, three, and they expect it one, two, three. So you can do one, two, right? One, two into the parry. The last hit never comes out. You get the, uh, not the parry, the fire, the buff. Last hit never comes out. You get the buff out. They miss their opportunity to hit you for it, and now you're doing more damage. So that's kind of what people are using this buff for. It's less to get buffed and then, like, zone, which you can do, and it's less to, like, get buffed and do more damage. It's more to break up your rhythm and tease things out, right? So you have, like, four, four, three, up three, right? There's a gap in there. They could blow up, but you could sit there and throw out the buff and then the last hit never comes out right you can do it even in the uh startup uh one of the key gimmicks i see is four three three right they'll do four three three and buff right can i do it oh no i have to do the whole streak oh shit oh uh, there we go that's one of them because that string is like super death on block so people will hold their block to like punish it and then you get the buff and you're like ha ha I do more damage and you didn't get to punish me and now I'm pressing buttons and it gives him a way to like really fish for counter hits um but that's his build it's like basically if you have the grab and the fireball add whatever you want he's got other shit but like the buff is really good for a lot of gimmicks and mix-ups um important moves he doesn't have a lot of important moves that we have to go over like he has like three moves that he just uses and then, like, a lot of other shit that, like, you can use. But the most important move is one, two, three. Right? One, two, three. Most important move. Starts with a double high. Goes for a low. Standing one. Where's the standing one? Seven frame startup. It's kind of, like, generic as far as pokes go. But what it does is it advances forward, right? By a lot. And it's very fast. And it's an easy hit confirm, right? And you just... Hit confirm. I think you can hit confirm on the last hit. Yeah, you can hit confirm on the last hit. So you have three hits to hit confirm and input the special move on the last hit. Very, very easy hit confirm. Still dangerous, right? Because the, it starts with a double high. So you're going to eat a lot of down twos. You're going to eat a lot of crushing blows. But the way you can kind of complement that is with the back one string, right? Back one is a uh, nine frame mid, which is really fucking good. We already established that it has a, cr- uh, a tick throw on it. Now, back one does do a string one, two, four. But the thing with one, two, four is you can't like stagger it, right? I can't just hit back one, two, nothing comes out. You have to dial the whole thing in. But you have three hits. It's minus six and it ends with a mid, so it's safe. And you have three hits to like confirm into a special move. So oftentimes what people will do is they'll do back one, then they'll stagger it. And then the idea is, do I end a, do I end what I'm doing with a special move or not? And that's where the real mix-up with Liu Kang is. Is am I gonna do it or am I not? And then so you sit there and you do this in the low fireball, right? And they keep getting hit with low fireball, so they're like, fuck it, I'm gonna block at the end of your string. And then you just, you know, you do that, and then you just grab them. That's kind of how those strings work together. The other important string is forward four three. This is like the Liu Kang string, right? Really cool piece of lore. I don't know if any of you guys have played the old games, but if you go back and play Mortal Kombat 3, the the, the series, Mortal Kombat 3 and Ultimate and Trilogy, Liu Kang actually does the animation for Forward 4 3. I thought that was really fucking cool. Like, I went back and played those old games, and I was like, holy shit, he literally does the exact same animation as Forward 4 3. Like, that's cool that that's a call, uh, a call out, but that was like his primary string in Mortal Kombat 3 is he does like... A kick thing that looks a lot like this um so this string is an uh, what 11 frame starts with an 11 frame mid forward four where is it i think it's 11 frames yeah 11 frame mid three hits you have a follow-up of up three there's a big gap before that last uh string so you do four four three and then up three there's a big gap they can literally just press a jab and hit you with a full combo to interrupt it so the uh, again the, the guessing game is am i gonna do it or am i not a lot of times people just do four four three cancel into a special move call it a day then they'll do four and four 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 three nothing four four special move four and four grab that's where the mix-up is just do four and four four and four three Four, four, up, four, four, three, up, three, four, four, grab, four, four, special move. You just kind of 
doing forward four and then deciding where you end it. And that's like how Liu Kang rushes you down. Because it's a, he's got an 11 frame mid and a 9 frame mid, and he just alternates between those two to keep you from ducking so he can just go back to 1, 2, 3, right? And it just loops over and over and over. That's like Liu Kang's command list in a nutshell. He can be broken down into three strings. There are uh, two more strings I wanted to talk about. Um, so we have the back 3, 4, right? Back 3, 4 is just a general all-purpose like uh, launcher or not launcher low right so you just throw that out there he also has three four regular that's mostly combo fodder but this just a low right this is gonna be your shimmy right I'm gonna go I'm gonna hit you with a down one I'm gonna back dash and I'm gonna hit that for being his uh, primary shimmy with punish move in the neutral or not the neutral close range it has really good range like it actually reaches really far for what it is it is kind of slow, right? If you look at back three, the frame data, it's 16 frames on startup, so it's a little slow for a low. But, like, if you're sitting there and you're peppering them with that, you can back dash and catch that. And you get two hits to hit confirm before you go for the special move. So you can input your special move on the last hit and hit confirm it really, really late. So it's a very, very good tool. Um, the other one is going to be forward three, right? He's got that. You hit it once, and he does two hits. Uh, you can't do anything off it, but you can add the whole string and add special moves to it hold on there we go right you have to dial in the whole four hits it's four three just gives you the one hit right four three just gives you or no it gives you the two hits and then if you dial all four hits then he does the whole string and you can special cancel on the third hit before the last hit because as you can see the last hit minus 12 so you will die if you do the whole string so for the most part what luke hangs do is they'll they'll stagger they'll hit four three four three four three four come in four three again back one and then grab you and they just kind of loop all of that shit. and then eventually you're gonna have to make the read and go for the whole thing right but you can get you know combos off of it it's pretty simple thing right you launch him up uh, i can't do it i did it before starting the recording but uh you know my hands are cold right <laughs> but that's kind of his important strings that's it you just alternate between those when you get in um and then when you're not in you just do projectiles it's that fucking simple i mean his basic kit we didn't even talk about his basic special moves but he has like all the shit you expect he's got dragon kick you can amplify it just throw it at the end of a special move and then it works right bicycle kick you can amplify it twice throw it at the end of a string and it works we got fireball you can amplify it throw it at the end of a string <laughs> as a special cancel and it works Liu Kang is very 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 simple um I'm like he's got a crushing blow off forward four three off three if you get it on a counter hit he's got a crushing blow off fireball if you hit or a dragon kick if you hit him with a fireball a air fireball from max range very very simple like his pieces just work that's kind of the thing with Liu Kang and so for his important ranges is going to either be range one where I can pepper you with mids and harass you with my close range shit right or range fucking zoning range right it's like range one or zoning here in the middle is where you're going to struggle you're going to have to get in you're going to have to be risky and do this like do fireballs which they can jump over and punish. So that's that. That's the only place where you really have to be careful with Liu Kang. But once you get in or once you get out, you just do whatever the fuck you want. And we are now at 13 minutes. Almost made it to 10 minutes. But that's the Liu Kang guy. It's pretty simple. He's, he's like the easiest character in the game. And he's considered to be top tier. So like if you want to like get results and not put in a lot of work, Liu Kang is going to be your dude. Liu Kang is going to be your dude.